And Magic fans, it's your friend Biospark88, and as I promised, I've started cracking open Zendikar boosters, and on this episode, I will show you six of them uh, straight from the box. But before we get to it, let's take a look at some of my loot. These two piles are the commons. There's quite a few killer commons in this set. Uh, there would be no time to go through all of them in detail, but you can just take a look at the ones on the top. Reckless Scholar, target player draws a card, then discards a card. And Territorial Baloth is an efficient creature if you've got whenever you use its landfall ability. Landfall is really central in this set. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, Territorial Baloth gets two plus two plus two until end of turn. Very nice. Now looking at the uncommons, we have River Boa. Ever since Visions, this has been a very well liked creature. Blazing Torch, equipped creature can't be blocked by vampires or zombies, and you can sack it for some direct damage. Trusty Machete, another equipment, but I might crack most of those cards on, several of those cards on camera anyway, so for now let me just show you the rares and mythics. Well there you, there you can see all of my rares, I fanned them all out so you can see the names. Hellkite Charger, Sphinx of Lost Truths, and on this side you got everything from Terra Stomper to Ameria to Armament Master, Electropotence. I have to point out, the ones I like the best are Scute Mob, that's a really killer creature in an, in an aggro deck. Terra Stomper, one of the most efficient fatties ever. I've heard Sphinx of Lost Truths is pretty good. I like Ameria a lot. So Bloodgast is great. Oran Reef is pretty good, but still there's quite a lot of jank in here, like Electropotence really sucks. And Devout Lightcaster was a little disappointing for what it is. But so far I have two Mythics, Lorthos the Tidemaker, and I was pretty jazzed to get this one, Eldrazi Monument. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, have flying, and are indestructible. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. If you can't, sacrifice Eldrazi Monument. And here's a look at what Lorthos is. Look at that gimmick. It's eight of, it's eight of everything. Costs eight to cast. Is eight, eight. And you can pay eight when it attacks to tap up to eight target permanents. A little expensive, so maybe that's why most people have a love-eight relationship with this card. Yeah, okay, that was bad. But here's another icon of Zendikar. Those the beautiful full art lands. Swamp, Island, Plains. Another Island. Mountain. Wow, I really like that one. You can see the hedrons floating in the air. And forest. Look at how primal that and raw it looks. No wonder people like the atmosphere of this set. It's amazing. And on the right and the far right you can see the token creatures that that are inserted into packs of the newer sets. Angels, Zombie Giant, and the rules inserts. Like this one explains to you how landfall works. Well, I won't bore you with any more background information. Here's the box. I've already opened 18 of the 36, so as I promised, I'll make use of this halfway point and pull out six more for you guys to in to view and Here they are. I got these for about $130 on Amazon.com. Amazon Prime, I must have fallen uh, for their little scam. Because for just four extra dollars, you can throw in Amazon Prime, which gives you um, one day shipping. I think I got suckered in because unless you find the, tra the tricky way to disable it, they can tr silently charge you money. That's a pretty uh, low blow to lure people in. So, 
if I have you learned anything from this video, think twice about joining Amazon Prime. But for now, let's just open a pack and get going. Okay. Opening boosters one-handed is not my idea of a good time, but let's just see what we got, huh? I'd use my trusty scissor there. Good times. Almost got him. Hang in there, viewers. Oops, I just scattered them around a bit, but hold on, I almost got him. Okay, here we go. Finally, we got a Sky Ruin Drake. 2-5, five, 5 mana with flying. Um, uh, I'm not really a fan of these overcosted blue creatures. Pillarfield Ox. I've gotten several of these. Plain old boring vanilla creature. Ooh, yeah, Burst Lightning. It's like shock, but if you kick it, it does extra damage. Four damage instead of two. This one has seen a lot of standard play. Step links. With landfall, this becomes an awesome uh, one drop. Harrow! As an additional cost to cast Harrow, sacrifice a land. Search your library for up to two basic land cards and put them onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. Ever since this one came out in Invasion, every um, player has liked it. This is quite the standard staple for Mana Excel. Beast Hunt, reveal the top three cards of your library. Put all creature cards revealed this way into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Now there's a deck thinner for you. Perfect for your weenie type decks. Grim Discovery, choose one or both. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand or target land. Look, at, I told you the commons in this set are good. So far, we've cracked like four or five in this one pack that have all seen standard play. Not too many expansions can beat that. Demolish, destroy target artifact or land. Versatility is always nice, but I don't know if I'd pay four mana. Cancel, everyone's favorite nerfed counter spell. Noble Vestige. Prevent damage. This is like a flying Samite healer. For three mana? Hmm. I kind of like the idea, but I'm not sure how playable it is. Goblin Rune Bla Ruin Blaster. Our first uncommon. Haste, and if you kick it, you can destroy a non basic land. Non-basic land destruction is always nice, because most serious players run tons of them. Seascape Aerialist. This is one of a long, long line of ally creatures that get some sort of benefit for being run with other allies. Merfolk Wizard Ally. Three creature types and one card, too. But four man, uh, five mana for this? Yeah, I'll pass. Ooh, we got a little ding on the on the corner of the card too. Sometimes those packs aren't sealed real well. Akum Refuge. Oh. These are like pain lands, but but they tap when they come into play. I don't know, is this better than a pain land? Remember, I'm not the most experienced player in the world. I've been out of it for a whole decade. So, you can enlighten me on this one, viewers. Another Oron Reef the Vastwood. This is probably my first repeat rare, and I have to say, it's not a bad one. If you don't, you can put a plus one, plus one creature on each green creature that entered the battlefield this turn. Oh my god, this would be murder in a token deck. There's quite a lot of token generation in this set. Planes. Planes with all with what looks like Hedrons plunging into it. You can see how treacherous Zendikar is. 
and a snake token. There's a lot of cobras on Zendikar, especially the the mythic rare Lotus Cobra, which is probably one of the ultimate chase cards from this set. And if luck has it, I'll open one. There's one pack down, five to go.